Now we will take our problem number two of equivalent resistance and in this problem we are required to find the equivalent resistance between the terminals A and B. When you look at the given network you will find this is terminal A and this is terminal B and therefore we are required to calculate the equivalent resistance between these two terminals and by the calculation of equivalent resistance between these two terminals we mean that we want to replace the combination of four resistors by a single resistor and let's say the resistance of the single resistor is equal to R A B and this is our equivalent resistance and we want to calculate it. Now before moving to the solution of this problem, pause the video and observe the given network for a while. I hope you are now done with observing this network and I think you encountered some difficulty in finding out the series and parallel combination of resistors and whenever you are in this kind of situation always look for the equipotential points always look for the equipotential points now what are these equipotential points these are the points having the same potential in our network let's say VA is the potential at terminal A and therefore this point will have the same potential and therefore I will call this point point A. This point will also have the same potential that is VA and therefore we will call it point A. Moving further we have this point having the same potential therefore this is point A as well. They are having the same potential because you can see that they are connected by an ideal conductor. There is no element in these wires therefore they have the same potential and we are calling all of them point A. Similarly this is point B, this is point B as well and let's say this is point C. Now once we are done with marking the equipotential points, we reconstruct our network from the scratch and for that we simply make all the points only once. This is point A, this is point B and this is point C. Now focus on this resistor having 2 ohms value. It is the resistor between A and C. So simply make one resistor between A and C having the value 2 ohms and I will put a tick mark in front of resistor so that we know we are done with this resistor. Now moving further we have 1 ohm resistor between C and A. So again we will put one resistor between C and A having the value 1 ohm. Now we have 1 ohm resistor between A and B. So let's make 1 ohm resistor between A and B. After this we are left with this 2 ohm resistor between C and B. So we will make 2 ohm resistor between C and B. Now we are very comfortable in calculating the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. We can see that between A and C we have two resistors in parallel and therefore we will have one single resistor in place of them having the value 1 multiplied to 2 divided by 1 plus 2 and this is equal to 2 over 3 ohms. In the next step we will have one single resistor between A and C and between A and B we have one resistor 
having the value 1 ohm and this resistor is having the value 2 over 3 ohms and between B and C we have one resistor having the value 2 ohms. Now we can see that these two resistors are in series and therefore we will have a single resistor having the value 2 over 3 plus 2 which is equal to 8 over 3 ohms. So finally we are having two resistors between A and B connected in parallel like this. The first resistor is having the value 1 ohms and the second resistor is having the value 8 over 3 ohms. And we know in parallel combination of two resistors the equivalent resistance is equal to the resistance of first resistor multiplied to the resistance of the second resistor divided by the sum of resistance values. When you simplify this you will get the equivalent resistance equal to 0 0.727 ohms or 8 divided by 11 ohms. This is our answer. Now we will move on to the homework problem. In the homework problem you are required to calculate the resistance between terminals A and B and once you have your answer post it in comment section.